I'm Phil with NVIDIA, and I'm going to introduce you to the Jetson Xavier Developer Kit. Modern AI requires significant compute at the edge, and this developer kit is the fastest way to start prototyping with robots, drones, and other autonomous machines. The two most important parts of this dev kit are the Jetson Xavier module itself with this thermal solution pre-attached, and the carrier board that it connects to. Everything you need to get started is in the box, including the power supply, cables, and adapters. This is the Jetson Xavier module by itself, a complete AI computer for autonomous machines. It has the performance of a high-end GPU workstation in under 30 watts, capable of more than 30 trillion operations per second for deep learning and computer vision tasks. It can operate at 10, 15, or 30 watts, and Jetson Xavier delivers more than 10 times the energy efficiency more than 20 times the performance of its predecessor, Jetson TX2. The total size is 100 by 87 millimeters and 16 millimeters high. Having a module that's as fantastic as Jetson Xavier isn't much help if you can't get data into it for processing or get signals out of it for interaction with other devices. So the care and attention to detail we put into designing this module also went into making it as usable as possible through the choice of connector. While a lot of the innovation in Jetson Xavier isn't visible to the naked eye, this is something you can see and appreciate. We worked with our vendors to create a 699-pin mirror mezzanine connector that supports all of the high-speed I.O. of Jetson Xavier, including, for example, PCIe Gen 4. We also made sure the connector has spare capability to enable future Jetson modules. This connector is capable of 56 gigabits per second, which is twice the bandwidth we needed for Jetson Xavier. We have an amazing module, ready to connect to an amazing dev kit. An important target use case we had for this dev kit was to make sure it was suitable for roboticists to do prototyping. That meant putting a lot of effort into making the carrier board small while delivering the maximum possible number of options for things like mass storage, input, GPIOs for control and display. Starting from the front, we have USB Type-C, GPIO, and this micro USB connector is actually an FTDI serial connection. On this side, we have a BI16 PCIe slot, which routes to a BI8 PCIe Gen 4 controller supporting root port or endpoint mode. This is also where the lanes are connected for SLVS cameras. On the back, this slot will accept either SD card or UFS card. Here's an HDMI 2.0 port, a hybrid connector you can use for either eSATA or for USB 3 Type-A, Gigabit Ethernet, and USB Type-C. There's also a barrel connector for the 65-watt power supply included with the dev kit. On this side, we have three buttons for power, force recovery, and reset. On the bottom, there's a camera connector and an M2 key-E connector for wireless cards. There's also an M2 key M connector on the top of the carrier board for high-speed NVMe storage. To reach it, you need to detach the dev kit module with combined thermal solution. Here's the M2 key M connector for high-speed NVMe storage. You can absolutely connect this module to the dev kit carrier board. The difference between these two modules is simply that this has a specific thermal solution we created for the dev kit, whereas this comes with an integrated thermal transfer plate to simplify integration with your system level thermal solution. Keeping the dev kit a small form factor while still providing as many connectors as possible required some innovation for the thermal solution. In particular, because a number of jumpers are located on the underside of the carrier board, as well as the camera connector, we designed this dev kit so it can be run upside down. It can also be run while sitting on this non-vented side. Another feature we've added is the USB connectors. We've heard your feedback and added more of them. The USB 3.1 Type-C connectors offer multiple uses. You can power the dev kit with either of them. The one next to the buttons is used to flash the dev kit. They both support DisplayPort, so you can run a total of three displays at once by using these plus the HDMI adapter. In addition to the two USB 3 Type-C connectors, don't miss the USB 3 Type-A connector here, combined with the eSATA port. If you've used Jetson before, this will all feel very familiar, and you'll be up and running with AI application development in no time. If you're new to Jetson, the process is straightforward. 
As with any Jetson dev kit, your first action is to hook it up, download the latest Jetpack installer to your host PC, follow the instructions to update your dev kit, and you're ready to go. This is the Jetson Xavier Developer Kit, the fastest, most powerful way to start developing the next wave of robots, drones, and other autonomous machines.